So more evidence has come out corroborating Tara Reid's allegation against Joe Biden. Now, before I even get to this new piece of information, just to go over some of the other evidence that has, has already come up, she told a neighbor back in the late 90s about what happened, uh, about what Biden did to her in 1993, as Tara Reid was a staffer for Biden back then. So this neighbor that she told came out recently in Business Insider, uh, discussed the story. And this neighbor, by the way, said she is voting for Joe Biden. She is a Joe Biden supporter still, even knowing the story. So, you know, not to <laughs> go after her character, but if you have somebody who is a Biden supporter and she says, yes, Tara Reid told me about this experience, it's pretty much impossible to deny. Um, also, former interns that worked under Tara Reid. So Tara Reid, uh, basically, she, um, I forget her exact exact position, but she worked with interns. The interns, uh, former interns that worked under her in Biden's office, they remember her leaving her job abruptly. So they've been interviewed about that. And uh, also Reid's mom calling into Larry King in 1993. This is on tape. I've discussed it before in a different video where uh, Tara Reid's mom is discussing what can you know my daughter do? She just left uh, this high-profile senator's office, and something happened there. So already, all that evidence out. Another piece: a 1996 court declaration written by Tara Reid's ex-husband shows she spoke of harassment in Biden's Senate office. So let me go a little more into this. Um. Tara Reid, a former staffer in then Senator Joe Biden's office, told her now ex-husband she experienced harassment in Biden's office, a 1996 court document shows. According to the Tribune, Theodore Dronin wrote the court declaration while contesting a restraining order Reid filed against him days after he filed for divorce. The declaration shows that Reid told Dronin about harassment in Biden's office when she worked there in 1993, but it did not say Biden was the perpetrator. The document also does not mention Reid's sexual assault allegations, according to the Tribune. So this is a piece that comes up often because Reed appears to be uh, or have held uh, she's held the 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 extent of the harassment, meaning the assault allegation, a lot closer to her chest than the other aspects of it. But that is she told her neighbor about the assault allegation, and um, and she came out over a year ago now, I believe, uh, discussing the uh, harassment that happened to her in Biden's office. And then the assault allegations, she, she tried to get out earlier uh, in the year and then eventually finally had an interview with Katie Halper where it really came out where she told the full story. And then The Intercept also went into it. Um, that was a, a piece done by Ryan Grimm. Ryan Grimm also helped to break the Brett Kavanaugh story of the sexual uh, allegation against him. So I think what's what's missing a lot here in the reporting on this, or at least the way it's been reported on, is that the people that have been breaking the story are people that have worked to break other stories from that happened with, you know, conservatives and sexual assault allegations. So in addition to Ryan Grimm, uh, who broke, who helped break this story and breaking the, the Brett Kavanaugh story, you also had uh, Rich McHugh. Rich McHugh, who's an NBC News producer, worked with Ronan Farrow on the Harvey Weinstein story. He is the one that is, uh, broke the Business Insider story with the neighbor and also is the one that produced the interview that she's having with uh, Megyn Kelly, which I'm not sure if it's out yet, but there's been clips that have come out of the Megyn Kelly interview. So uh, it's important to put that out there so that this is not treated as some, you know, Trump conservative uh, attempt to take down Joe Biden. No, this is an actual event that happened to Tara Reid, and she's trying to get the story out there. And she's getting the story out there through reporters that have been nonpartisan in the reporting on these issues.